Most people that watch this channel have seen this video. It's a Doug Burke video. It's of Lee in a match with Doug. I want you to notice what Lee does. He had touched the sole to his sagittal line. He takes a practice swing and skips the sole well in front of the ball. The ball tees extremely low. And he's got the toe of the club just behind the ball at a dress. So he has to reach out. Most people will only see the real long looping swing. But that's because he's hitting low. He's hitting down. It's a descending angle. And then he has extreme extension through the ball. So you see the triangle form of his arms. You'll see his elbow come down. And then you see extension of the arm. So when I first saw this, what I saw was this. This position to this position. From the shoulder, hands closer to the neck. And then down to your left pocket. Basically the belly button. And then the arm extension and slap through the ball. Here's another view of it. Watch the flight of the ball. He tees on the toe. The ball is teed low. There's your triangle with the neutral shaft down the middle. And he unfolds the triangle down hard and fast. Stressing the shaft. The club head kicks under. And you get that beautiful ball flight, which you can clearly see here. Here's that triangle with the elbows even. He folds the right arm down. It looks over the top. And he blisters that ball 335 on a line drive fade. When I saw that, I said, I want to be able to do that. But what I see is this. I wanted to be able to do that. Hands of the triangle to this position. Ball in the middle of stance, hit with a descendant blow, yet hit underneath the ball. It's right arm extension with just a little push. Shown here. Here's another really good view of it. So always it's the how, and I'm going to recreate a video that really clued me in on, on how this is done. And it was a video, I don't think it exists anywhere, where Lee was holding a, a board, okay? So he dressed the board right in the middle of his stance, right in his sagittal line. And he basically just folded that board up. So from this angle, it would look like this, and you'll see that triangle form. And he said, you got to keep the hands neutral. Okay, can't lean this way. On the right arm, you'll feel the weight. Can't lean to the left, you'll look like that, and the weight's here. Got to be dead neutral, just like this. Dead neutral. Triangle, dead neutral, shaft through the triangle. And he showed, I, I do this. So he folds up, and then he simply comes down, and then to the front line here, fold up, fold down. And it was that easy, and he said, oh, I see that. So he's just folding this right arm up and down. This would represent the top of the shaft, the top of the board, and he's controlling that. So here I've got my thumbs on both sides of the board. I could put my thumbs on top of the shaft here, or what represents a shaft. And then he says, well, I'm just putting my hands to here. And it looks like shaft lean. 
if I stay back a little bit, it looks like I'm not leaning the shaft. So that made so much sense to me. To me, it was a great representation of how he was swinging. So he had the triangle, and then basically was putting his hands down. So if you think about that, if I take my hand and I put my flat of my knuckles into my palm, just like that, and I simply formed a triangle where my elbows are even, I could put that triangle just to the right side of my neck by my ear, okay? You would look like this. And then, if I were simply to fold down my right arm to this front line here, my hands just go from here to here. I automatically, no matter what my orientation of my axis of my body is, I'm going to react to that. You can see I get that little move without really thinking about it. So my hands come from here to here here to here. And what you don't see, you can really feel this. You'll feel as your arm extends, you'll feel that push I was talking about. As your arm extends, it's automatic. It'll feel very over the top to someone who's learned a traditional swing. To me, it always feels like I'm coming way out like this. And since the club is not put behind the ball, we're extending out to reach but really as fast as you can get from here to here the harder you're going to hit the ball the further and the spin is different it's a fade spin it'll come off spinning and rotating more this way ball will sh go low shoot up and turn over and it's very unusual flight the first time you get it, you go, that's not really a fade. And you know you're doing it right when the ball hits and then dances one way or the other on a green. In fact, you can have a ball that will start off to the left of the flag, go right of the flag, and then hit and can roll back towards the flag. If I have a club, one way to do it, I neutralize my, this is just an example. I can put my thumbs on the side just like the board, just like that. And that controls the top of the shaft. And you can even hit a ball this way. Quite easily you can play this way. And you simply fold up and fold down, just as I said. And the extension happens automatically. And you reach out for a ball, you use your arm, drop it here, just drop it down, get the balance of the club, and then it'll be right on your sagittal. Put it between your nose and belly button. And then you put a ball about, you can tee it off of the toe of the head. That'll help you to reach. Or sometimes I do it even three inches, four inches towards the camera. And you simply fold up reach out and hit the ball and you'll be just amazed at how that ball flies and it looks like this you'll look more like Lee and you tee real low with the driver only one knuckle and it produces that flight and the first time you understand it you go wow well, I get it. My hands go from here to here. So I'm simply doing this. Right up at the front line, and all of a sudden, you're getting better extension in the Y look than any pro. It's what they all search for. And your body just reacts. It knows what to do, and it reacts to your arms. The left side of the course goes out of the equation. Because you, you only hit straight and or a, just a slight fade. You can take a driver and not only hit it far, it's amazing it'll move to the right and go far. 
I was used to you lose like 30 yards with a fade because I was always trying to cut underneath the ball like this. But this is not that. It simply feels like you're going this way and yet the ball shoots up and turns this way. It's just another way of getting better and learning to control your ball and all of a sudden golf becomes easy. Simple proof is a chip. So if you have the ball here, I'm going to chip the outer ball. I drop this down around this ball here and I can simply reach out, fold up, fold down, and hit the second ball easily anywhere I want. 